There are two contributing factors that affect the total possible extra points that is get added to a student's final grade. The first one is the weight you assign to the bonus item, and the second one is the overall weight of the category where the bonus item resides. So, for example, in this particular case, I have my homework category, which is worth 20% of the student's total grade, and I have my extra credit category, which I weighted to be worth 10% what I have to do to figure out how many total possible points if they got a hundred percent on this extra credit item would be added to their total score I take this 10 percent and multiply it by the 20 percent so that would be 0.1 times 0.2 or two points so this extra credit extra credit assignment can be worth two more points toward the students final grade if I change the weight of this, then the amount of possible points can also increase. Now keep in mind, dependent on, depending on the category's weight, that will also affect the total possible points based on the weight of the extra credit category. So you have to keep these things in mind and be very conscious of these as you start thinking about adding extra credit to a weighted grade book and have that and have that item in a category that distributes the weight of each individual items evenly. So let me give you a visual of what this looks like. I'm going to go to enter grades and I want you to watch the train one student. The train one student now has 36.33 possible points based on the weights of each of these categories and divided by 50. The reason it's not out of 100 right now is that this particular train one student has not taken the exam and that doesn't count against them yet. Really what I want you to watch though is more of the point value right here. So I'm going to go into the extra credit area and I'm going to grade all. And I'm going to give the student 100% or 10. Keep in mind what I said, since this is weighted at 10% and the category is 20%, when I click save here where it says weighted grade, it should say 2 if I'm right in my calculations. So there's the 2. So when I go ahead and now cancel, which is going to take me back to the enter, the enter grade area, notice that the student now has two extra points. So let me show you that again. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to now make this student not have any grade in there. I'm going to click Save. Click Cancel. Notice the student has 36.33 points. I'm going to click Grade All. I'm going to give the student 10, I'm going to click save, hit yes, cancel. Notice the student now has 38.33 and their grade is now up to a 76. So what you have to understand is that even though you are putting an item into a specific category, the bonus points are being added on after all of everything else is calculated. It's being added on into the numerator. The thing about putting them into a category in this case is that the weight of the category times the weight of the bonus item will affect the to oh, how many points get added to that numerator. Well, let me do this now a different way. Let me just show you this. Let's say the student now got 8. What would be my, my weighted grade? Well, again, it would be the 8 or divided by it's 8, per 8 divided by 10 is 80%, so that's 0.8 times the 20%, which is 0.2, or 1.6 points. So if I click Save on that, the student would now have 1.6 points. I'll click Cancel, and now the student has 1.6 points. So maybe the next question is, what happens if I change the weight of the bonus item? Not the points, but the weight. I'll go to edit the bonus item and now what I'm going to do is change the weight to 20 percent. I keep it at 10 because the points really don't matter here. It's really the weight that matters. And I'm going to click Save and notice what happened. Notice that it went up more because I gave it more of a weight. If I go to edit, I mean go to grade all here 
you'll notice that it's now 3.2. So how do I calculate this again? Well, let's just say I gave the student 100%. Keep in mind that it's now 20% is the uh, weight of the individual item. 20% is the in, is the individual category. That's 0.2 times 0.2, which is 0 0.04, which is four points. So the maximum number of points that they could get is four points. And if I click Save on this and click Yes, you'll notice that now it now changed to four pot four points more. So you really need to very much consider the weight of the category and the weight of the individual bonus item when you are figuring out how many total points you want for that you want the student to be added to their final grade.